Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of DevSecOps project. Now if you are hearing me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel because it really motivates me to create more content like this. Alright, so without further ado, let us dive right into the video. Okay, so in today's video, we are going to talk about Sonar Cube installation in Ubuntu. So let's talk about a few prerequisites for that. So the first one is you need to have admin rights or you have to have a pseudo user access. The next thing is Ubuntu as a OS because obviously we are going to do that in Ubuntu. And then you have to have Java installed. So I'll be using Java 11 over here. I've already installed in this system, but you can install it, uh, install it from uh, just Google it and you will be able to install it. I'll show you some commands then you can install it. Okay. And then you need to have PostgreSQL 9.3 or higher. We're going to talk about that in the video. And then we have to have an SSH access. So we, because we are going to do a few things which need this access. And at the end, we need to open port 9000 on the firewall. That's all because that's a default port for Sonar Cube. So that's all we need to do. All right. So let's dive right into the demo part. Okay. So uh, I have just opened the terminal over here and I have got the root access. And just go to your browser and look for this website www.vulture.com. And I'll link it in the description as well. Don't worry. Okay, so how to use Sonar Cube on Ubuntu 22.04 LS? If you want to check the version of your OS, you can check it by this, I guess. Uh, there's a command for that. Let me let me find. Okay, I think that has to be LSB hyphen release hyphen A. Perfect. So I've got Ubuntu 22.04. So I'll be installing this. Okay, let's circle back. So prerequisites are this and uh, we have to configure the firewall first. So we'll just sudo allow this. So let's do that. Copy and paste it over here. We'll just go back here, paste it. Rules updated, perfect. Let's go back. And then we'll allow the HTTPS, copy, paste. Perfect, let's go back. Check the firewall status. Let's copy this, paste, hit enter. It's inactive. Let me clear the screen. Okay, my command was wrong. So I have to type systemctl status uw and then you can see it is active. Okay, so again, let's go back to the browser and it's saying install open JDK, which is 11. I think it is already installed in my system, but if it is not installed in your system, you can use this and install it. Okay, let me check whether I have it or not. I'll check the Java version. Perfect, I already have it, so I do not need it. Okay, so I'll just clear the screen, go back. And then it is saying install PostgreSQL, which is this. So just copy this command. I'll just copy whole of this. And credits to this website because it has made my work so easy. Otherwise, I had to type all of this. So thank you, vulture.com. So it has been downloaded. Perfect, let's go back sudo apt update copy go back paste hit enter and it will take its own sweet time let's see how much time does it take oh perfect it's done let's go back to this copy this Control v hit enter you want to continue yes i want to continue it started and depending on your internet speed, it's going to take some time. All right, so what I'll do is I'll just fast forward the video. Okay, perfect, so it is done. Let's go back and then sudo system ctl. Let me expand it a bit if I can expand it. Perfect, I think you can see it better now. Go back, paste it over here, hit enter. And it is saying that it is active. Perfect, let's clear this. Go back. So now we have to configure the PostgreSQL. So the rest of the things are done. We have installed it. Everything is done. Let's go back. sudo hyphen u paste hit enter. So now we are in the Postgre. You can see it from here. Okay, so we have to now type the command. So we have to create a sonar cube user. So let's just copy this. And let's see what happens. Paste it over here. Hit enter. It is saying that there is a syntax error. So let me check whether I've written everything perfectly right or not. Okay, I don't think I had copied the correct path. I have to copy this. I'm sorry, my bad. Control V, hit enter, and then create role is done, right? 
Now create this, create database, sonar cube. We have to copy this, paste it over here, hit enter, and create database is done. Now we have to grant all privileges on the sonar cube database to the sonar cube role. Okay, so let's copy this and grant the privileges. Okay, I'll type G, paste it over here, hit enter, and it is done. Perfect. Let's exit the shell. I'll just have to type for the quit. Okay, paste it over here, hit enter, and now we are in the root. Let me just clear the screen and let's go back. Okay, perfect. So this is the account. I think we are already in the root. So all the part is done over here. Now we have to go and install the Sonar Cube. That's the main part. So if you want to take a look at the Sonar Cube versions, you can go to the website and you can take a look at it. So right now at the time of recording this video, we have 9.7.1 community developer enterprise and data center. We're going to use the community version because it's free. That's that's why. Okay. So let's copy this command and uh, let's see what happens. So it is 9.6, it has been used, it is updated thanks to vulture.com. It will be paste, hit enter. And then it is going to take its own sweet time. So I'll just fast forward the video. Okay, this is done. Let's go back. Let's unzip the downloaded archive. Okay, paste it over here, hit enter. And uh, yes, it's done. If you wanted to do ls over here, you can see that it has been unzipped. Okay. Let me clear the screen again, go back. Now we have to move the files to opt directory. So we're going to sudo move mv is move sonar cube this and into opt directory. Okay, paste it over here, hit enter and it has been moved. If you want to check, you can just check it by cat. Let's copy this, copy, not cat, ls, because ls hyphen a, paste it over here and you can see that it has been moved you can see that right perfect let's go back okay now we have to just remove the zip file that we have downloaded so paste it over here hit enter and if you do an ls over here it would be gone perfect let's create the screen again and let's go back now we have to create a sonar cube user so use this command to create a user along with the sonar group for sonar cube just let's just copy this go back paste hit enter and it has been added perfect go back let's give it give it the access or i would say give it the permissions so paste it over here hit enter done that's all in the seventh step we are going to configure the sonar cube server so let me just clear the screen first perfect okay so let's just copy this command go back paste it over here hit enter and yeah, let's let's do that. Okay, so I think this is garbage value. Let me remove this. Okay, this should be done. Perfect. Now look for this file and sonar. I think sonar user was the name. I guess sonar user. Yeah, sonar user was the name and password. You can give anything. I'll just give sonar. That's all. Okay, and then you have to go for the JDBC connection, which is this. perfect and then find the following line uncomment it and replace with the existing value of the following okay so you can give this copy this hit enter over here paste it my bad I think I've gone, should have gone to the top. Okay, here is the value. Let me check if I can paste it. Okay, perfect, I can paste it. And if you're not using this, so just, if you do not want to do any changes, just do it like this. All right, that's all. And then you have to find the following lines, Sonar Web, java options hyphen server and sonar this okay so i think that we do not need this because we do not have install nginx so it does not matter actually uh okay so that's all i think should be it 
now let's give it the memory so just copy this okay you have to uh, move out of it first of all so when you have to exit it you just have to give a few set of commands so there are a few commands written over here and then you just have to go by that so when you want to move out of it you have to do control o so control o is saving a nano file and control x is existing so hit enter perfect and control x you'll move out perfect so let's just clear this and this thing is okay now paste that the command that you copied okay over here and then this count has to be pasted so paste the following at the end of the file let's just go over here and paste it over here perfect then control x hit enter And just let us see whether everything is all right or not okay so this is done if you want to do it again we are over here and you can delete as well like like this you can just delete the values if you want so you can do the changes in this okay I have to do just control O to save it again you have to write the file control X and then you move out perfect let's just clear this go back Oh, it's already written, written over there okay so now I think this is done you have to uh, give the, these values to increase the file descriptor and the threads that SonarCube user can use okay so let's do that copy this go back paste it over here hit enter and then go back over here use this copy paste it again over here control O to save it hit enter and control X to move out perfect now save the file by this and that, that's all reboot the system so we'll just uh, reboot the system let's go back sudo reboot and then it is going to be rebooted so this is virtualbox 7.0 which we are using let it happen it's going to take you know, its own sweet time if you want to move this video just move it a bit further or you can just watch it in 1.25 speed so this is done o x not x s boxes dot o r g so now we have entered and then we have to just go inside perfect okay open the terminal we not need this open the terminal get the sudo access sudo su again the password os boxes dot o r g hit enter clear the screen let's go back to our web browser we're in the web browser now okay this was not so control H we'll go to the history today we did open this one right I guess perfect not this one this one perfect let's go back and let's just scroll you have to set up the sonar service now okay so let's go over here copy this go back paste hit enter and then you can see there's a lot of things over here all you have to do is copy all of this and just paste it over here that's all just have to paste it control X sorry control O to save control X to move out perfect and if you want to check just do this and do a cat over here and then you would be able to understand let's do that perfect now let's just clear this go back and then sudo system ctl starts on our cube so let's see whether it is running fine or not paste it and it has started now you can check the status it is active and running that is perfectly fine so let's just enable it because if you want to do that you can enable it I'll just open a new terminal if you want to quit it quit it just quit it doesn't matter I'll do localhost not 8080 we have to go to 9000 and it is not open okay I think I made a mistake in the file let's go back to the user So what we have to do is to control F your underscore 
password okay so this one i entered wrong i just pasted the command i did not pay attention that's my bad so let's copy this command go back paste it over here hit enter and then inside that you just have to come down in the password so the password is not this it is your password and i made a mistake over here okay so i think this should be good so control o to save it hit enter control x to move out perfect now all we have to do is check the status sonar cube is it up and running yes it is up and running i'll just restart it this should be done let's just check the status perfect so let's just control c go back at the browser 9000 and refresh it let's see whether it comes up or not and it has come up so that was the only mistake that i did what i did wrong was i just blindly copy pasted the command i did not pay attention to this and i'll show you your underscore password i did not pay attention to this so i just copied it and I, you can give your own password over here and this is done once this is done you just have to go down and here you have, you have to enter your password that's all that was the issue okay so once this opens for you give a name admin admin i think this is default name and the password and it'll load so give old password as admin new password as anything i'll give it as password password that's all let's just update it and it has been updated okay and now you can see that this is installed so it is saying that there is a new version of sonar cube available which is fine i mean you do not have to go through this there are projects issues rules quality profile quality gates administration and a lot of other things okay you can go over here now this is a community edition and pay attention that this there is no white there is no yellow line over here saying that it is not expandable to the production database because we have used postgresql over here and this does not come with a default database so that is one advantage advantage of using postgresql with this so if someone asks you in an interview that why are we using postgresql tell him or her that we are using it because it is expandable in the uh, you can say in the in the production environment in the higher environments in the staging environments and all the other things and and we are not using the default one because it's not expandable or scalable is the right word okay all right so i hope you folks have understood this part if yes feel free to comment below and we will address that and uh, please do subscribe to the channel because it really motivates me to create more content like this so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one